Welcome to today's Tech Byte. Today we're going to learn how to use a setup package. If you have multiple computers in your office and you want to transfer an item from one computer to another, there are two ways to do that. You could transfer the entire database, such as your door database, from computer number one to computer number two. However, that would overwrite all of the doors that was on computer number two. There's a better way to do that using a setup package. A setup package allows you to transfer a single item or a few items if you want. So let's look at this feature. On the splash screen, let's go to Utilities and Setup Package. First, let's find the category we are wanting to transfer from. And if we click on the drop down, you can see all of the major categories are here our catalogs, our construction methods, doors, finishes, parameters, profiles, tools, even our user created standards. Today's illustration I want to transfer a single door. So let's say for example I had created a raised panel two and a half picture frame door that on my computer and I want to transfer it to computer number two. I simply select the door click add to the package. Now I could continue adding items. You don't have to add just one. You can add as many as you want and you can add from different categories. I could easily go down here and grab another material to transfer or I could transfer a finish. It does not matter. What I do want you to notice is that when I transfer the raised panel everything that is assigned to that door also is getting transferred. You see that by clicking the little plus sign next to it and it's going to show you everything that it brought along. For example, it brought along all the profiles assigned to that door. It brought along the material schedules, the materials, the banding, even the finishes. So everything that you need to duplicate this door on your computer or computer number two is automatically grabbed by the setup package. That way you don't have to worry about it. As I said, you can go through and continue adding items into your package as many as you need. But let's say at this point I'm finished and I want to save this package. I simply click on the save icon. We'll call this very simply test setup. And I'm saving it to my desktop. At this point, I, all I have to do is transfer that one file from this computer to the second computer. So we do that through a memory stick or if they are connected through some type of network connection you could copy and paste. It's just that easy. Let's say now that I am on computer number two and we've transferred that file using a memory stick and I have it loaded on my desktop. Now I want to import it into computer number two. I click on setup package again. This time I'm going to open the package and if we go to the desktop there's test setup package and we open it. As you can see there's the raised panel door that we are expecting. The next thing you want to do is click on the swap between creation modes. This gives you the chance to import or not import some or all of the items that are in this package. The green dot means that an item of this name already exist on this computer. If it's green, the setup package will not overwrite it. It will leave it alone. So in this scenario, I do want to overwrite all the current information, so I'm going to change everything to red by clicking the red icons. Let's say that I've changed my mind about some of the things that I want to import. I don't have to go back and create a brand new setup package. With everything changed to red, I can simply click on this material schedule, Alder, and I can click on the green icon here, and you can see it only changes everything that belongs to this material schedule. So this material schedule for doors, the Alder, will not be overwritten, but everything else will be. And if there's ever a scenario, let me change it everything back to red, 
that I only want to ignore one item, I can click on it, such as the inside edge profile, step radius, click this icon, and it turns that one item to green, meaning we will not overwrite the step radius edge profile. But in this scenario, I want to overwrite everything, so I'm clicking and everything is red. Now that I'm ready to import, I click on the double hands or the handshake and the package is imported. And that is it. This door and everything that belongs to it is now available for use on computer number two. And I did not have to go through the trouble of moving the entire door database. This is a very convenient feature and one that I imagine you will use quite often. This completes today's training movie. I would like to remind you of your training options. The help files are available within each Cabinet Vision product. The eSupport technical website is a great resource for questions and answers and features a technician monitored forum. Regional training classes are available so please contact your customer service representative for the classes in your area. If you would like someone to come on site to your location and train your team this can be arranged. Online training is a very convenient method for training over the Internet. The eLearning Training Series is a series of topics which you can purchase online and download for immediate use. If you have questions about this or anything else, please go to our website, cabinetvision.com. We look forward to you joining us next time. Thank you for watching.